When it comes to photography and video, it's not about cameras and lenses. The big part of the creative process is editing and the this device, this device could really be a game changer for anyone who wants to simplify the process and make it more streamlined. Loopdeck Live, it's a new incarnation of Loopdeck consoles. As the name suggests, it is meant for live streaming and it does kind of look like uh, Elgato Stream Deck. But because of the six knobs rotating buttons, it can be used for so much more. In my opinion, all these names like live and stream might put a lot of creators and creatives off of this. As if you are not actually streaming or not planning to go live, why would you be even looking into it? But all it is, it's a controller for your computer to switch or adjust any parameters of any software without the keyboard or the mouse. Not actually a device to stream with. So when it comes to streaming and when you are actually live using software like OBS, you might want to be able to switch between the cameras if you are using a multiple camera setup, show graphics, intros, play sounds, etc. Without actually looking at the computer and operating it with a mouse. With a device like this, you can simply program the buttons to do all those functions and also use the knobs to apply uh, any gradual changes like changing your microphone volume and so on. But this actually comes preset with all the main functions of Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Premiere and it can be reprogrammed or programmed to be used with uh, virtually any software and it will work with Final Cut Pro and Resolve just as well. I have never been a huge fan of the original big loop deck console. It is great and it does what they say it does, but for me, it has got too many buttons. So when actually using it, I have to remember where everything is and what all the buttons and knobs do. Yes, you can get used to it, program that muscle memory, but it takes too long and it takes away from the joy of editing. This is totally different, as all the buttons and the knobs have got screens showing you what they do. So even at the glance, it is easier to operate without remembering what's what and where it is. Also, the size of it, it fits really nicely on the desk and under your hand or, or hands. It is really well designed and has got great ergonomics. Six round buttons, knobs that rotate and can be pressed home button and seven buttons at the bottom here. Each of those, including the home button, bring up 12 functions on these touch screen buttons. Obviously, they all can be programmed to whatever you use most, but what is really cool are the round buttons and how they work. You have six of them for each 12 displayed buttons, and you can add infinite number of actions to them and change the functionality by swiping along the, the long displays to the next six functions and so on. So although the device this is very small, there's a lot of functionality that can be programmed into it. And you don't need to remember what you have programmed all of, all of it to, as it's all displayed in front of you, and it is very easy and intuitive to use. I put the most used by me functions right on top. Pretty much every photo I edit in Lightroom, I adjust exposure, contrast, highlights, and shadows. And to do that, I normally would have to adjust the sliders one at the time. What is brilliant about this, that you can actually adjust just two or even three at the same time. Once your muscle memory kicks in, it is quicker to use it than using the mouse pointer. Also setting it up so it allows you to access those functions that you use the most quicker certainly speeds up the editing process. You can actually assign functions that require multiple clicks or multi-key keyboard shortcuts to single press buttons and even move mouse pointer with the knobs and with the knobs which is pretty useless. But there, if that's what you think might work for you. All the screen buttons also vibrate when pressed giving that feedback when not looking down at it when, when using it. Working with it in Adobe Premiere makes it so much easier to make fine adjustments when color grading. Again, it will Well, always come down to how you use the software and how you translate that to this device to speed up your workflow. You still have to use the mouse, but with the loop deck under your other hand, it is possible to do color adjustments while literally doing something else. It enables you to multitask the tasks. They are usually limited to a single mouse pointer and single mouse 
clicks. This retails for £229 here in UK or $269 in US. Not something that you necessarily must have, but when set up right, it certainly speeds up editing process a lot. There's a LoopTech CT also available, the, the big brother of this uh, CT is exactly the same as this, with additional buttons and big scroll wheel, and it is significantly more expensive. This is a great starting point if you never used an external controller like this before. It does take getting used to and if you do get used to it and master it it could be a game changer on how you edit your photos and videos unfortunately the getting used to is the hardest part and this could very easily become your desk ornament expensive desk ornament as you can see it's usb connection not bluetooth so you have to take that into consideration when using it with laptops or computers with limited usb sockets to connect it to i have been using it for a few weeks now and i must say that it has become part of my workflow when i am at my desk it looks it looks great, it feels great, and it is not a burden to use when editing photos or color grading video. And this is it from me. Let me know in the comments below what do you think of this Loop Deck Live. Do you use one? Would you use it? Let me know. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Also, setting it up so it allows... Also, also setting it up, but there is... That's... But there... But, but there, if that's what you think might work for you.